Hands up if you eat food. That'll be all of us then. So we all need farms and farmers. 80% of Scotland's land is farmed, but as that farmland has been asked to produce more and more food, as trees and hedges have been cleared, as the use of pesticides, herbicides and fertilisers has been ramped up, we've lost much of the rich diversity of wildlife the land once supported. This hasn't happened quickly, it's been a long process over many decades, so nature has been gradually, quietly slipping away, almost unnoticed. Where the trees and flowers have gone, the thrum of insect and melody of birdsong has fallen silent. Across the UK, around 40 million fewer birds contribute to our dawn chorus compared to 50 years ago. But we need farming and we need farmers, so can we find a solution? At its simplest level, rewilding just means more nature. And that means giving nature more space to breathe, more freedom if you like. Farmers who provide space at the edge of fields for wildflowers and scrubby woodland, who create rewilding buffers and wetlands along streams and rivers. These farmers are making a valuable contribution to nature recovery, as well as locking away carbon. Regenerative farming involves integrating nature into the farming system, uses less pesticides and fertilisers, and helps restore biodiversity. It also means recycling more on the farm and working with local suppliers to reduce food miles. There's also a move towards high nature value farming systems, such as grazing cattle in a way that mimics the wild cattle that once shaped our landscape, bringing benefits to a wide range of species. If we want a landscape rich in nature that also produces high quality food, we need to change our thinking. We really need to make sharing land with nature the new normal. We shouldn't have to choose between farming and nature because we absolutely need them both.